Hello, I'm Ben. This video I'm talking about specifically about the queue related parameters. This is the VTOL, VTOL parameters. Now, the first thing you have to do is uh, you can't see so many queue parameters. What you can see only, only one. Which one? Here, when you the first time, you can only see this parameters queue enabled. The default is zero. Zero is for fixed win, but if you yours is four plus one and a tetra water, the first thing you have to do is to change here to one and write prompters safe. Then restart your flight controller, connect your controller, then you will see that not of Q related prompters about four plus one and tetra water. Most of the parameters are exactly the same, just a few of them different. I will tell you what's the difference. No matter 4 plus 1 and tetra water, you can all watch this video to learn how to set in the parameters. Okay, let's continue. Q frame class, choose 1. Q frame type, choose 1. 4 plus 1 and tetra water, all choose 1. It's the same. Q assistant ALT. This is the attitude for assisting. Mine is only 15. Now, this is not the same for everyone. You have to decide what value you have to use. Q assist angle. Mine is 17. Q assistant speed. 10. You can see the explanations what it means. QR2 aggressive, QR2 extra. Now, every time I recommend it to use only one, for example, first you can R2 roller, second time R2 pitch. Q back trends MS. This is three thousands. Q ESC calibration. When you want to calibrate your VTOL ESC, you remember it is VTOL ESC instead of the tail pusher. You have to change this to one, and uh, then start to calibrate your ESC. This will be introduced by another video because there are not of contents. Q land final ALT, final A attitude. Q land speed. Q noise speed. QM speed minimum. Now, QM spin arm, my choice is, is zero. QM thrust hover, QRTL attitude, QRTL model, choose one. I recommend choose one. QM Howard Learn 2. Default is 2. I recommend you also choose, choose, choose 2. Okay, if yours is 4 plus 1, setting almost completed. Basically, is uh, this uh, prompt you have to change. But if yours is tet rotor, you have more. Now, if yours is tet rotors, what you have to do now is Q tet enabled. Qtet enabled, change to 1, 1, right, save, you read 
to do a full prompt refresh. Okay. Restart the flight controller. Connect it again. Now connect the flight controller again. Now you can see the the more Qt related parameters coming out. First, you have to do is Qt mask. Qt mask. For this place, you uh, choose motor one and motor three. So this is a file. Qt fixed angle. I choose 10. Q tiered rate D in, I choose 15. Q tiered rate up, I choose 80. Q tiered tab, I choose 2 vector, vector yard. Q tiered young angle, I choose 10. Now, this is QT related, not too much, and you're around less than 10 prompters, not too much. Now, there is one prompter you have to do according to yourself. This is your choice. My choice is BRD safety. This I choose zero. So, I don't use this safety board. If you want to use it, you can choose one. If you don't want to use it, you can use zero. Okay, now let's go to the QP extended tuning. Now, this is the VTOL PID, roller, pitch, yarn. Yeah. Now, by the next couple of videos, I will show you how to tune the VTOL PID and how to do the ESC calibration. And uh, the more testing videos I would like to share with you. Thank you.